Mm, well, mm, uh, mm. During this time, Sullivan's kind of been pacing on the bench and being like, this is really strange. What's really strange? He points to his nose. This thing. <laughs> oh, right. Solomon, I want to try something. What? Apraxis pulls out a lizard. <laughs> he, <laughs> God, he laughs. God damn it. God fucking Sol- damn it. Solomon takes the lizard. Its soul looks normal, right? Its soul looks normal. Do you want to take a um, perception check for me real quick? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and the Braxis, do you want to roll a stealth for me real quick? <laughs> I mean, I immediately don't trust it. Yeah, well, your new schnoz is picking up something that's definitely not a lizard. Um, that's that's alcohol. Looks at a Braxis. I wanted to test a theory. Chris pulls Tenry over after giving him a quiz ki- quick kiss of the cheek. Hmm. Are we trying to get the puppet drunk? Maybe. I, I think that's exactly what he's trying to do. Well, I'm all for experimentation. He eats the entire thing. <laughs> we were curious. Oh, God, there he goes. That was dragon's blood. Fuck. Oh, I'm excited. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> See, huh, that was, the thing is, I don't that, think that, it'll that was, affect that was, him. That, that was real weird. Uh, Sullivan, can you roll a con save, please? Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Solomon has a bad con. Solomon, your... Your gullet withstands it, but you feel like part of that should not have gone in there. You like, like, oh, like, 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 boy. like your, your eye starts to drift and you're like, stop that. You hit the side of your head and it goes back straight. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Some of the strings start to come loose and drunk. roll around. Oh my god, it worked! Nope. Okay, okay. He puts his eye back properly. Oh my god, that was so weird. It worked! It also Jeez. did- Fuck, is he as resistant to that shit as you? Hey, I'm pretty resistant to it. He I know! also made of wood. You're a- Yeah. And, uh, Sullivan says, Huh, that was real- weird it was like uh it was like it it uh, it it well how, how do you explain that the weird feeling that goes in there he points at his mouth <laughs> I, I hate to, i hate to be the one to bring it up but are we really getting the six-year-old drunk uh, yes apparently he may uh, be six in you know your terms but in mentality and such and Magical artifact rules. He's technically like twenty-eight or Frank, more. Frank leans over. Yeah, just like I'm technically nineteen, but um, also technically only two. Yeah. It's yeah. Weird. Frank is weird. Yeah, Frank hey, is really weird. finger guns. Or, or like how Hazel is only well, Hazel's like sixteen, eight, fourteen, fourteen. Okay, he figured it out. He's like, oh, that's taste. That's what that was! <laughs> <laughs> Hazel looks out and determines it is my duty to take on the role of responsibility at a young age. You're adorable. You're doing Hazel. wonderful, Hazel. Good job, Hazel. Kuvara, think. She cute. <laughs> oh, yeah, the dog can talk, by the way. That's yeah. precious. Hey. Anyway, yeah, I guess I can taste too now. What do you think of taste, Solomon? It is fun, it's, yes? It's interesting, yeah. The only other experience I had was that, like, three months ago where it was, uh, what was it? There was rock ice cream. Oh, and, wait, and chocolate cake. And the cake, yes. Didn't taste, it wasn't as intense, probably, well, hmm. I guess I read in a book somewhere that humans' half of taste is smell, something like that. Mm-hmm. You notice that Chris reaches out for one of the pears and grabs it and consumes the whole thing without removing the pit or anything. <laughs> Sol- Solomon sniffs. What? What's, what? You know, there there were some of those in uh in the thing. I uh, I smelled some candles earlier in my yeah. workspace. Why do those pears smell like wax? She's gonna pick up one of the pears. She looks over at Chris. You just ate wax. <laughs> that does not surprise me. With Chris, Chris is chewing. 
I'm glad these guys did not like fruit. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we don't take bets on pear. <laughs> yeah. Frank, your press will eat almost anything. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, am I what missing I? something? I feel like you guys mm. are... I feel like you're getting made fun of. Yeah, I feel like I am too. Don't make me Tarankar, you two. I can't figure out what the thing is. What, Frank, what Frank comes, o uh, comes over and just like licks at Solomon. Don't, please, please, don't think about it. Don't think about it. We'll tell you when you're older, Solomon. Solomon sits down, clearly <laughs> thinking about it. <laughs> Solomon. What? Trust me. Fine. Uh, Thanks, Solomon. <laughs> Solomon has absolutely no concept of reproduction, so... <laughs> um, uh, Hachi just kind of clinks his knife on his glass. All right, everybody. So, <laughs> as glad that all of you are enjoying being back together, but I figure that's a good enough time to get in today's matter. Yay. Um, because of what happened with... The current blue tiefling, Braxis and I have decided that it's about time we start sharing everything again. Oh, by the way, Virgil, sorry for lying to you. Yeah, I mean, I kind of called it, but uh, yeah, yeah. the we, whole conversation's uh, done and over. <laughs> yeah, there's kind of a which few means bets we did win that bet with Pira. <laughs> oh, fuck, you're right. Yeah, there's a, you there's had a, a few bets on what the truth is. Oh god, you'll have to tell us. The, all the magisters have a betting pool. Like, it's really important. Frank looks uh, yeah. with a flat look. I feel like I've put the wrong bet in for literally everything. <laughs> Fair oh, enough. God. Except for Wait, one. Worry, there's some that oh, I've lost. I knew he was alive. I got that one. Hey. I think everyone. No, Lydia did not get that one. <laughs> Lydia didn't get that one. Was there any bets on uh, whether or not I used to be a part of the Ashen Guard? Yes. Yeah, I think that was just when we were the plane hoppers, though. I think Solomon and I, think, I were on I that think, one. I think we yeah. were talking about that over coffee one of the nights. Yeah, I think I mentioned I think, that. I think the consensus came when we were like, oh, maybe the other organization thing was a split off of the Ashen Guard, and then we were like, well, it would make sense for Abraxas to be part of that. Does that <laughs> mean that we are part of the Ashen Guard because we are working with you now? Uh, no. <laughs> Technically, I'm not part of the Ashen Guard anymore, either. Me neither. Fuck those guys. Yep. But there is a Splinter Group. Um, mm. Splinter Group is a bad way to put it. Yeah, really. Let's get into the meat of everything, shall we? Yeah. Instead of a Splinter Group, is it more like you two rebelled? Not just me and Abraxas. There were more. Mm -hmm. Although some have since gone back on their choices. Yep. <sighs> more and more of us give up every year. It's kind of sad. Hey, we can always now send out that little uh, blurb could, that. Yeah, we could tell them that we were right. Fuck them. <laughs> 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 oh, they don't care. Do <laughs> we can pretend they do. Maybe Morpha yeah. cares. Yeah, Morpha will probably care. Maybe oh, Morpha will care. We could go talk to Morpha. Oh, yeah, 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 we, we can tell Morpha. About that there, yeah. Yeah, I still don't think we should go talk to her. Not yet. Anywho, back many, many years ago, <laughs> myself, my brother, and a man by the name of Pathfinder founded a group called the Ashen Guard. We existed with a multitude of purposes. At the time, two main goals were to keep the gods, Akka and Ao, at place as well as to attempt to break the curse. Over the years, time and time again, we failed. There was potential breakthroughs that led to dead ends and possible successes that ended in failure due to intermingling of one or another group. Ultimately, the Ashen Guard got pretty disheartened, you could say. <laughs> Yep. Uh, and that was around the time that 
the card siblings showed up. They were fine at first. They, uh, acted as if they wanted to help our cause, but we could tell there was something more going on. It was around the time that Abraxas and I first met. I tried to kill him. He certainly did. <laughs> at that time, Abraxas was a traveler. Traveling alongside the Red Tiefling. We had a battle because, long story short, I went to intervene as I normally do, and he decided to stop me. <laughs> It was a few good years where we hated each other. <laughs> oh god, yeah. <laughs> Kinda like whenever we re-met back with Winterwind and all that. Mm -hmm. I remember that. In fact, that was when Morpha and you had your first bout. Uh... <laughs> anyway, well, he felt I had betrayed him. And to an extent, I kind of did. But, getting back on topic, the Ashen Guard currently believes the Tieflings cannot be saved. My brother particularly thinks they are beyond saving, and he has all but given up. In fact, he's gone as far to try and get in my way, let Akka now take control of their vessels, and let this whole thing blow over and move on. There's a problem with that, though. Well, he's given up, I haven't. For good reason. The curses, as you know now, are deities. But they're not just any deities. They are two halves of the same deity. Called it. Being known as, uh, Ah Shen Hai. Ashenai the Judicator. They are a judger. They are the god of dust. They were third party in the Battle of the Gates. Pretty weird thing to be a god of. <laughs> it's a weird thing until you see it in action. Hmm. They dissolved so many innocent lives in just flick of a wrist. Their power is immense. And they caused Jalala and her limb to have to team up for once and set aside their differences. Yusuke and I helped, and at the end, we split them in two. And the curse was formed. Jalala opposed it, and her limb pushed it. So the story was a lie. Not entirely. Okay. They still hate us for giving the gift of magic to people. But they're willing to overlook that if we can defend our world from Ashenai correctly. Relem is currently locked behind a door in a plane called Isol. It is a plane all to itself. If you witnessed Ao in all of her horridness, and you entered ISIL for a short period of time. I've entered ISIL twice then. That wasn't my mind? No. That's why it felt like planar warping. That's why it felt so real. And I can still remember it so much. Huh. So you're telling me that he's not sealed in Umbra? No. That door leads to Isol. Only the Tieflings can open it, because it was Yusuke and I that created it to begin with. And why did... We'll get to that. Okay. Why did we... No, please ask. Go ahead. Why did you put him in there? Because we were defending what we had made. He wanted to get rid of wizards once and for all. Jalhala, with his Balrog, defeated his brother turning him into what you know as the White Worm. To keep that cycle going, Yusuke and I locked him away so we could have time to deal with the curse. 
We fear that if that door is opened, Relim will end this judgment cycle and judge the world as he sees fit. That is my opinion that under no circumstance should that door be opened. I think he might have changed his mind some. I doubt it. He's a manipulative bastard. If you've spoken to him, he most likely tried to get you on his side. He's done it before. He did it to my brother. Why would he give Levin his staff then? The gift is a symbol of trust. Right. So, from what you're saying, the curse exists to keep this god at bay so that it doesn't do so. What, what is it going to do if it gets out? Honestly, it would probably mean the whole world would be destroyed. Or another battle of the gates would start. Both of those are horrid options. <laughs> yep. Life as you know it would change for the worse. This Ashenai the Judicator. From my one encounter with him, he is unreasonable. <sighs> as a judge, he seems to be very partial. He is unbiased, but his rule set comes from a perspective that is so foreign to us that it makes no sense. I am, as I'm sure you've figured at this point, the original Red Tiefling. And since day one, our job has been to defeat our respective Tieflings should their inner deities start to take control. By defeating them with our blades, we set the curse back 20 or 30 years. Huh. Until this day, we've rarely ever let the blue or the red get anywhere near each other because, as you know now, for Akka and Ao to be united again, Armageddon would be unleashed. Wait, so does that mean us having a bond and all that is dangerous? Why do you think Abraxas hated you two being together so much? <laughs> Nervous dad in the background noises. I thought he was just being a protective dad. In a way, yes. In another way, I was worried about the curse. Hmm. And I was just waiting for Heihachiro to show up and end it then and there. That, that does bring up a slight question that I've had. Um, where have you been all this time? Um, scratches the back of his head. Oh, well, that's a funny story. Remember when I said some of our side changed their opinion? Oh boy. Uh-huh. I was working with an outsider by the name of Odos. Uh-huh. Oh. And an outsider by the name of Morvo, who you've met. <laughs> oh, we love Morvo. Yeah, I think I've met her twice now, Master. Ooh. Ooh, there's He looks over at Tender. Ooh. What do you mean by that? I saw the summoning sigils. Her name was on the floor. Scratches the back of his head. Oh, did I leave that there? Oops, my bad. That kind of fucked us oh. over at one point. Yeah, we had to destroy that. I kind of tried to use it to contact or summon you. You busted my circle? Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, Odos yeah, was coming out of it. Whatever, I'll make another one. I'm in Morpha. Bastard. Alright. Anywho. <clears throat> Odos and Morpha fought me and poofed me. That was around the time I vanished. The bastards buried me in the ground where no sunlight could get to the sword. And it took about six years for a stray dog to dig me up. Yep. While well, he's poofed, I have no connection to him, so I couldn't help. I'm sure you can tell I was furious afterwards. Being afraid of long <laughs> uh, It's still funny hearing someone else say that. Mr. Uh... Henrock, would you, um, 
Would it help if I gave you warmth? I don't think that would help, but I appreciate the gesture. <laughs> Save that for your boyfriend. Oh, also, Kiana hands five gold to Virgil. Thank ah. you. <laughs> what, 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 what you We're not gonna you? talk about Rick it. Rick just smiles and purses her lips. Nothing at all. <laughs> I no. I gotta hear this. What's the five gold for? Nothing. I think you should know. I don't think you should know. I don't think you should know. I, I think you should know. know. Don't don't make me use my powers of wrath, and I have nothing. Frank chews a salad. You know, can't you like use some sort of mind magic stuff to figure it out? Uh, sure, hang Go on. Go in her mind! His... Go in her mind! He points his finger, ooh, <laughs> magic beam, poof. Hazel looks at Tenru, then at Kiana, then at Tenru, then at Kiana with, like, just this excited uh... grin. <laughs> uh, Hazel, that, it was a... Uh, I swear to God, if he says what I think he's about to say, I still have no magic, Hazel. Oh my god! What? You liar? Haven't we been over this? I thought we were over this. Yeah, can we take an affinities test? You want to? I got the affinity yeah, stone set up at some point. I'm gonna fucking yeah, maybe... blow your mind, Tenro, because you got magic a bit. I doubt that. If I yeah. had magic, he looks over Hey Hacho, I would have already developed a wizard power by now. <clears throat> Technically, you did. Bullshit. <laughs> Not you, though. It's actually kind of depressing. Yeah, I know. My brother has a wizard power, and I don't. And he's, like, three you're, months you're old. What? <laughs> you're what? Are we calling Levin your brother now? You mean your yeah. empty vessel. That brother. One. Empty vessel. He's Levin. a husk. <sighs> In fact, he's just kind of... It, doesn't that mean he's just kind of you? He's him, but without any sort of a soul. He has no soul of his own. He has a soul, but not in the sense of what you guys are saying. I don't think you understand. He flat out does not have a soul. I never got to soul gate him. He seem he does seem to have will of a kind. Cause he's making decisions. He's a mm -hmm. hollow. He's a completely empty husk. Of what Tenrir once was. Except he's slightly... Abby? Trust me, that was a uh, time that somebody broke me of that happiness. I think what Ten is trying wow, to say is easy. that Levin is his own person and he shouldn't be called nothing. Exactly. He may be something similar to what I used to be, but he's different. Mm -hmm. He has been able to make difficult choices I couldn't back then. He also... Like dyeing your hair green? Good choice, by the no, way. No. That was not me. <laughs> that... Okay, that one is because he <laughs> used his wizard power to sort of... Well, well, he didn't mean to use it. He was walking and accidentally combined with a lot of plant matter. You bumped your head on a tree and turned green? In a way, yes. Someone happened to you? Points at Frank? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, if Frank can turn, you know, things into other things by combining two things, then yes. just hand on People the sides of his suit. I like to think I can turn something into something else somewhere, probably. Yeah, 